breaking. The wood have used my head as football. Idokwe on video of IPOP brutalizing kidnapped emo chiefs. The wood have used my head as football. Idokwe on video of IPOP brutalizing kidnapped emo chiefs. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Joe Igbokwe has stated through his second Facebook page, Adwalaze Mnewi, that had it been the suspected members of the deadly indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who set his Mnewi home, as of David, Ablis some months ago, met him at home, they... They, they committed the crime. They would have cut off his head and played it as football. The Anambra born chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, made a statement in reaction to a video clip trending on social media pages in the video. Two chiefs who were recently kidnapped in emo communities who were seen being brutalized by suspected members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, as an as armed unit of IPOP. The two elderly men, monarchs, spotted in tattered clothes, were heard in shaky voices as they interact with the suspected ESN operatives at gunpoint. He goes, here we come. The Lagos-based politician who always speak against the activities of IPOP ESN in the southeast region state further in the statement. Joe Ibokwe has stated through his second Facebook page, Adbalanze Inewi, that had it been the suspected members of the deadly indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, who said it's Inewi home, as of David Ablaze some months ago, met him at home, they, the day they committed the crime, they would have cut his head and played it as football. The Anambra born chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, made the statement in reaction to a video clip trending on social media pages in the video. Two chiefs who were recently kidnapped in Igbo communities who were seen being brutalized by suspected members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, an armed unit of IPOB. The two elderly men, monarchs, spotted in tattered clothes, were heard in shaky voice as they interact with the suspected ESN operatives at gunpoint. It goes, here we come. The Lagos-based politician who always speak against the activities of IPOP ESN in the southeast region state further in the statement. Check out the post made some hours ago by the special advisor to Lagos state government on drainage and water resources matter below. Joe Ibokwe, I stated through his second Facebook page, Adwala Zenewi, that had it been the suspected members of the deadly indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who said, who, who said his Inewi home as of David Ablaze, some months ago, met him at home the day they committed the crime. They would have caught his head and played it as football. The Anambra born chieftain of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, made the statement in reaction to a video clip trending on social media pages. In the video, two chiefs who were recently kidnapped in emo communities were seen being brutalized by suspected members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, an armed unit of IPOP. The two elderly men, monarchs, spotted in tattered clothes, were heard in a shaky voice as they interact with the suspected ESN operatives at gunpoint. It goes here we come, the Lagos-based politician who always speak against the activities of IPOP ESN in the Southeast region state further in the statement. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And let's move to the comment section and let's see uh, let's see what people are saying. The first comment which I have here says, You still you still unwanted list, idiot. And the second comment here says Joy is right. Since the creation of ESN, our name is Southeast, I've become sorry. You are not yet free. They will still get you in Lagos. 
I have a comment here that says everyone has a right to believe in whatever they want. Forcing folks to believe in your ideology is unacceptable and can lead to extreme obsession and wickedness. If truly it was my own Igbo brothers who are under the canopy of ESN or IPOP that really mistreated those elders in that manner, may come and visit them all. For every seed you sow, you shall have a day of harvest. God was never a fool when he urged us to obey elders. Thank God this life is temporary. All man must die, whether violently or peacefully. But let your hand not be soiled with blood, for you are no creator of life. So my dear listeners, in my own view about this news, how sure are we that it is the IPOB member that, that, that abducted the monarchs and they are the one that maltreated the kings, the, the monarch, the traditional ruler? If the states had been peaceful, or if the states had embraced dialogue with these people, would such of a thing had happened, we, are, we ain't sure only they are tagging these hyper people as terrorists and what they are not meant to be. How, should, how, how, how are we sure that it is not staged that some people are, uh, so, so the plan that, make, that some people should go ahead and kidnap the traditional rulers and say they are hyper people? How is someone that is in detention give orders to them that, and, uh, that they should go and abduct the traditional rulers? It is a very bad thing. Another comment here says Joe Ibokwe alias Fulanikwe has seen his future as the one of the saboteurs of his people, songs it. Another comment here says East have been turned into a Taliban enclave, very saddening, sickening, and disgusting. A comment to here says ESN are against those sold out kings in Igbo land. The worst terrorist group on planet Earth is ESN IPOB. And lastly, don't worry, supporters of IPOP, ESN, until their river carry you guys away. Uncle Joe is saying the truth. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please, do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. And before I go to my dear listeners, what is your reaction to this statement from Joe and the shameful video seen above? Use the comment box below to reach out to us. Thank you.